Hello from a pretty considerably busy day at Universal. Hi, Brennan. Hi. Where are we going today? Volcano Bay. We are going to Volcano Bay because it's been a very long time since we've been back, so it's hopefully going to be a lot of fun and maybe not as crowded as it seems like it's going to be. All right, so that took about 20 minutes to make it through Ooh. the toll plaza, which was a little bit long. I guess it's just one of those time of day situations where the annual pass holders are showing up right about now. But we're gonna go park right inside the parking garage here and head off to Volcano Bay. We of course have to catch a bus to get over to Volcano Bay. So we're parking on the very first level of the Universal parking garage and then hopping on a bus. Volcano Bay closes in about two hours. So we have just, just enough time to get over there, relax, maybe hop on a few slides, jump in a lazy river, get in the wave pool and then relax for a little bit. Okay, we're leaving the parking garage right now in route to Volcano Bay. I'm on my G7X Mark II right now, which is my smaller little camera. So hopefully the next thing's a little bit um, easier to record as we kind of make our way around the park. Whoa. Okay, just got off of the bus. Now we're heading over to the security checkpoint to check our bags, then heading underneath Adventure Way and over to Volcano Bay. Okay, so with the toll plaza, parking, and bus process, it took about half an hour to get over here, so we have about an hour and a half before the park closes. And here we are, finally back at Volcano Bay for the first time in a pretty significant amount of time. It's been a while since we've been here. Hi, Brennan. Are you excited to be back? It's been a while, right? What? Are you excited to be back because yeah. it's been a while? Yeah. All right, let's go. And here we are coming around the corner, and there it is, Krakatau. The volcano from Volcano Bay. We have our Tapu Tapu right here. Gonna go and put this on. I'm not really sure what the wait times are looking like right now. There's some rides that are probably gonna be a capacity for the day, like Krakatau, I'd imagine. But maybe there'll be some ride now. Rides that we could hop on real quick after we find a spot. Yeah, let's go put on stuff there. Okay, so we're heading down to the beach to see if we can try to find a spot by the water down here because we have never had a spot on the beach of Volcano Bay. Can you believe that? We've always gone around the other side of the volcano. So let's see if we can try to find a nice spot in the shade. All right, so we found a spot way back here in the back of the beach, but it's a nice shaded spot. So we're gonna go and leave our stuff here for now. I'm gonna grab the GoPro, jump on that, and then I don't really know what we're gonna do. I guess we'll see what kind of wait times some of the rides are looking like around Krakatau and, and hop on something if it's a ride now. I guess we'll see. Okay, so way back there, that is where our chair is. And here we are heading towards the volcano. Probably get a pass by oh yeah, no no, just to see what sort of return times those have, if any at all. So I thought that coming at the very end of the day with the park closing in an hour and a half, there would not be a lot of people here, but there are a pretty good amount of people at Volcano Bay still. Okay, there are not a lot of people up there for oh no, so let's see what the return time looks like for it. There's a pretty lengthy line over here for people getting in line. Do you want to keep walking? So it was a 30 minute wait for oh no. Oh yeah, it was only 10 minutes, but I think we'll make our way back to these slides in a little bit and just see what the wait times look like over here. Maybe we can do Krakatau. So here's Tayawa, the Fearless River, which I anticipate us getting at some points today. And there are the Taniwan tubes, which I'm pretty positive are right now. So that's where we're going. Okay, so we're gonna do the blue slides, which are the rocky slides. There's rocky and Tonga. Tonga are the green slides. Oh, it's dripping and it's cold. And I'm pretty positive that I've enjoyed the blue ones a little bit more than the green ones. So that's what we're doing, but I gotta put the GoPro away. Okay, we have our tube right here that we're gonna be sharing. That's head of the stairs right now, and I think we're gonna be doing this one right here. Ooh, it is quite a trek up the stairs to get here. Okay, never mind. We did the blue one on this side, but it was still fun. Nonetheless, we got to go pretty fast. See, the blue are the rocky slides, and then green are the Tonga or the Taniwa tubes. I think those are my favorite, some of my favorite slides because they're so dependable. You can always ride the Taniwa tubes at Volcano Bay, right? Okay, we're gonna check on the wait time for Krakatau, which may be a capacity for the day, but people are crowding around it. You know what, it's probably a capacity. I can imagine that it is. Yes, so the ride was full for the remainder of the day. So it's a very, very popular ride, which means it fills up very, very fast. But we are now behind Krakatau now, kind of seeing what other options we have. There's, I believe, Hanu and Ika Moana right there, but I know that we want to do the Fearless River at some point. Okay, so we're over by Hanu and Ika Moana now to see if, one, if there's a return time available for us and then also if we can actually do it because a lot of rides are particular in terms of how many people can ride the ride and then also what you weigh. 
So there was a ride last time that Brennan and I could not ride together because we did not together exceed enough. Yeah, the maximum or the minimum weight that you needed to be in order to ride it. Okay, so it looks like both Hanu and Ikamoana are ride now. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it, but we're going to go ride over there and ask. Okay, so we were good with the weight for Hanu and Ikamoana. There's not a minimum weight, but there's a maximum weight. So we are good to go for these. The minimum riders, I suppose, are two. You can have two to five riders for, for these rides. Okay, so we just got off of Hanu. Did you have a good time on that? I did. And that was great. That was probably like the most fun I've had on that one. Right? Yeah. I wonder, did they used to combine parties on this? I think that they did. Probably, yeah. Did they? Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna go do the other one that we didn't do. We're gonna do Ikamoana, hey. the green one. So it should still be a ride now for Ikamoana. I'm not really sure how many more hours, if any hours at all, we have before the park closes. Hanu is definitely the more popular of the two rides here between Hanu and Ikamoana. So there's a line for Hanu, but not for the one that we're about to do. Okay, so you went backward on Hanu, yeah. and then I went backward on that. That was terrifying. Was <laughs> it was fun. Do you want to show them the faces that we made every time we passed by one of the picture opportunities? We went, <laughs> Yeah, it was great. Okay, let's, let's see how much time we have left before the park closes. Okay. Okay, so regardless of how much longer the park is open, I think we're heading back towards the Fearless River because we definitely wanted to do that before it closes. Yeah. So we can see what we have left to do in terms of time and well, what we can do in terms of the time that we have left and then do the uh, the fearless river okay so we're back over by the fearless river right here these are the tiny one tubes right up there and i think we're gonna go and hop in the fearless river which the entrance is way over there so it was a little bit confusing last time because there's only one entrance into the lazy rivers so this is one of the exits and i'm pretty sure that we have to go kind of look down over here by the feasting frog yes so the entrance is over by the feasting frog which we have not eaten at in kind of a while which we need to do. We also have not figured out what the uh, what time it is. Yeah, so last time the line was funneled all the way down and back over here by the beach. So it was a, about a 10 minute wait just to be able to get into the Fearless River. But we're heading over here to get our life jackets and then hop in. Okay, so I finally found out what time it is. The park closes in about 45 minutes. So we have 45 minutes to enjoy the Fearless River here and then maybe hop on it. Another couple rides or so. Yeah. It's like five o'clock traffic right now in the Fearless River. It really is. Put on your blinker. <laughs> I'm waiting to see if there's like an open area for me to merge in. Okay. Ah. Ah. This is nice. <laughs> I, haven't really, I haven't really been in this video a lot, so. Hello, Hi. here I am. <laughs> okay, so we're passing underneath the Taniwa tubes. Brennan is enjoying herself right there. You finally have a life jacket that's not choking you. Yay! Cool. So that's the one that we did right up there, the light blue one. This is always my favorite part. Right here? No, just like the Fearless River in general. Okay, so we're back over by one of the exits to the Fearless River, right over here. You having fun? It's a popular place right now. And here we are in the bowels of Krakatau, currently laying on my back. Hello. Mom. My left jacket's kind of riding up on me a little bit. And here comes a wave. Awesome. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Well, that was fun. We've almost made a lap around the Fearless River. Okay, so we made one lap around the Fearless River. Oh, that's cool. The guys are just going off. So I think we're going to make one more lap and then maybe try to hop on a, another slide or so. We didn't bring our cups with us. No, we didn't, but we got here so late, we didn't even... I don't think we're going to be able to have dinner here or grab a couple drinks. Yeah, I guess it probably would have been a waste of our time to like wait in line to get a drink. So do you prefer the green tubes or the blue tubes um, over here? The blue tubes are fun. I can see where the green ones were probably fun if you were going backwards like you did. I would like to try that. I didn't go backwards. This is the Honeywell tubes. We didn't go backwards here. These ones? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Honestly, I'm not really sure of my preference. I feel like every single time we come we do a different one and I'm like oh that one was so much more fun than the other one and I don't really remember. We gotta do all of them at once one day. It has definitely been a while since we've done Krakatau. It looks like they turned off a lot of the water effects over here. Weren't there more waterfalls yeah. over here? Yeah there were weren't there? Well it was like this when we came around the first time too. No, yeah I mean just like in previous trips. Maybe it's have you done any of the body slides at the top of Krakatau? No, 
I'm scared of body flies. Well, I'm scared of like the, the big ones. I can do like the loopy ones. Okay, there's a couple of those up there. Yeah. It's really... I haven't really... done the pungaracers since they got rid of the mats. Yeah. I mean, those are fun, but these, these I think it's like the green one and the blue one up here. Those are like the, the drop and, and turn body slides. It's very interesting just to look up and just see what the inside of this volcano looks like. It's such a cool place to really explore, to walk around, just to go all the way up to the top. Even if you, even if you don't want to ride the body slides up there and just walk back down just to see what the view looks like. Fearless River is not very fearless right now. We've almost completely stopped. Hello. It's not really moving very fast right now. I feel like a lot of the effects just turned off, so... What the heck? <laughs> I'm upset. Fearless. So I think that it's these slides right here that have the weight minimum, where last time we did not have the combined weight sufficient to ride it. So that was a little bit unfortunate, but we'll ride it again someday, right? Yes. Cool. And then one day I will brave myself on those drop slides. Yeah? Will you do the straight down one or the ones that... They, do they turn? Do they just, I guess they curve, right? No. Maybe if you get to like 50k subs or something. Don't do way. that. I'm not that kind of. What are you doing? I know. <laughs> Subscribe to me for incentives. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hop out of the lazy river, or the fearless river. I guess it's more of a lazy river <laughs> right now. And uh, see if we have any more time for some more slides. Do you want to do, oh yeah, or oh no? Yeah, we can do that. You think so? That'll be nice on the way out. So we're probably gonna have time for just one more ride today at Volcano Bay. I guess it's gonna be oh yeah and oh no, but I guess we'll see. So never mind, we're gonna go do the Punga Racers because I don't think Vernon has done it since it became a body slide rather than a, a mat slide, which I really, really do miss those mat slides. Those were a lot of fun. The Punga Racers are kind of nestled over behind Krakatau and next to the Fearless River, sort of. And these, again, they used to be the uh, the, the, the mat slides, but now they're the body slides. Okay, so we're heading up the stairs, all the way to the top. There's Krakatau, right there. I have to put my GoPro away, obviously, because you can't film on the rides here at Volcano Bay. But we're gonna have a great time. And it looks like Vernon was victorious. She Did I win beat out of me. everybody or just you? I didn't pay attention, but you definitely beat me. Okay, do you want to go and head on out? I guess we'll see if Oh Yeah, No No are open by the time that we get there, but it's, it's very close to closing. Yeah, it's okay. I had a lot of fun. That was fun. I get really nervous on body slides. I don't know why. I think I had like a really bad experience when I like was like, I don't know, 90 pounds as a kid and I, it, I don't know. <laughs> but did you have fun? I did. Okay, Maku and Puihi. These are the ones, or at least one of them that had the weight limitations on them. But here we are heading back toward the front of the park, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, oh yeah and oh no are pretty much right over there. Okay, so we made it just in time to do oh yeah or oh no. We decided to go for oh yeah because oh no usually is a little bit longer of a wait. So we're heading up the stairs, gonna slide down the slide and call it a day at Volcano Bay. So we were gonna do oh yeah, but the wait time is a little bit too ballooned, I think for us to wanna do and commit to. Right now I think it'd be about 15 minutes before we would get on. So we're gonna go and try to beat the crowd back to the bus. It's pretty much the only demerit of these two rides in particular is that it's only one person at a time So if there's a good amount of people in line, it will be a pretty significant wait But we're heading back over to the beach to grab our stuff to head out, right? Yeah Cool, yeah, this is where the nice two uh, drop slides come out right here I guess it's nice to just have like a, a quick short to the point day at Volcano Bay But we have a very overdue like all day Volcano Bay adventure Okay, back to the beach where Brennan is right, we definitely have a very overdue full day at Volcano Bay adventure that we definitely need to do at some points in the future where we just come and we relax, we grab some food, some drinks, we do all of the different lazy rivers and, and slides, ride Krakatau. That's gonna be a fun day, but I don't know how soon we're gonna be able to do it because blockout days, right? Yeah. All right, so back on the G7X Mark II, hopefully you can hear me a little bit better now. That happens sometimes with a GoPro where water gets in the mic or I just cover the mic with my big fat thumb. But here we are, heading out of the park, right? Yeah. So it's a little bit past six o'clock on the dot, so the park has officially closed. So we did pretty well with our, oh, I thought I was taking a step up the stairs and I <laughs> totally missed. So we did pretty well with our timing. Yeah. Like we could have probably, we could have definitely ridden OEF if we wanted to, but we'd still be in line right now because that line was a little bit lengthy. Okay, now to return our tapu tapu and then head out of the park, back to the buses. So this is what it looks like out front. When Volcano Bay is closed, they put up a rope, 
And there's nobody else out here at all. What a quick but fun trip to Volcano Bay. There's probably gonna be a little bit of a wait to get on the buses, especially with the park having just closed. But maybe it'll be quick, maybe they'll expedite the buses and get everybody back to the parking lot as soon as possible. So this is pretty cool. This line over here is for hotel guests, and then this one right over here is for the buses. They play this announcement very, very often, but I guess it, it's necessary at a water park. Okay, so this is the line for the parking garage, which is Pretty much non-existent right at park closing for Volcano Bay on what seems like a pretty reasonably busy day. This is pretty cool. Okay, so we're on the bus passing by the secondary toll plaza entrance to get into Universal under the parking garage. So we've almost made it back to the car. We're a little bit wet, but feeling uh, satisfied and happy. Okay, we just got off the Volcano Bay bus back to the Universal Parking Garage, heading back to the car after a successful and fun day at Volcano Bay. So thank you for hanging out with us today to go to Volcano Bay. Yeah! You haven't been there in a little bit, have you? Yeah, it's been a while. I think the last time you went was with Dennis or something, right? I went by myself right before the park closed. Oh, yeah. When it had its, like, a definite closure, I guess, like, back in 2020. We went with our, with our last Volcano Bay stay. That was the last time I went. That was a while ago. Yeah. Wow. Did you have fun? I did. Was it nice? Yeah. It was fun to be back on the G7X Mark II. It's been a little while since I've used this more condensed camera versus my really big Canon M50 that I have to walk around and put on a stick, basically, because it's so big <laughs> and heavy. But hey, thanks for hanging out with us today. We had a great time. I hope you had fun vicariously watching and following along. So we'll see you soon. Have a good day and goodbye. Bye.